very good. Sam, how does it feel? A uh, successful uh, recovery from the broken jaw and helping Bradford make it seven wins on the bounce. Yeah, good mate, really good. We're in a, we're in a really good uh, vein of form at the minute. Um, you know, I'm probably a bit, obviously a bit nervous, you know, going in and, and hoping, you know, just wanted to see how my jaw would fare up with your first sort of contact and stuff, and I got a clout early on. and uh, Teeth felt a bit funny, but I was, I was sound with a palm on it. Obviously, I didn't fall in half again, so that's, that's, a, that's a bonus in it. But no, I was sound, mate, and, uh, you know, like I say, just, just so we can carry on winning, carry on uh, knocking them wins off and, and keeping this momentum going. Just going back to you feeling nervous, certainly in the first couple of sets, you, you took a few carries up. Was that some of that was planned that you wanted to get a feel and get a taste for that action? Again? Oh, I always want to do that regardless of whether I, you know, brought my jaw or not. But um, you know, I just, you know, just wanted some. To be fair, mate, I wanted, wanted a bit of an eye shot early on, or you know, just a bit of a clout around face, and that's that's what I got. So that was ideal, you know, just to, to test it out and see how it was, and it was absolutely fine. And then you can crack on. Cracked on the game, so um, you know, I'll probably are a bit rusty. I think you know, I, I've got a, I've got a bit to do. Um, I think I'll, I'll probably have to off at pace at, at some point, but um, you know, I just, I, I just had to do all, all, the, all the little stuff that, that I wanted to do, and, and hopefully, you know, I'll, I'll always appreciate it. John's just said that he felt the worst thing that could have happened is scoring in that first set inside the first two minutes and perhaps a little bit of complacency you know creeping in what are your thoughts around that first half performance yeah i don't think we were great i think we shot ourselves in foot a bit um you know we could have been a, a lot more clinical we could have been better with ball um but you know credit to newcastle you know you can't take a lot away from them they were they were really good they were they were they completely died they kicked the ball and um, kicked the ball really well, ended the sets, you know, um, Jake Sherrock and Reece Dean controlled them really well, and Bob Bezik from nine uh, controlled them really well, and, and they got around the park well and, and put us under the pump a bit, but credit to our defence, you know, we, we didn't have a lot of ball in that first half, and, and you know, we kept it on one score, so, um, you know, for the negative and without the ball, um, sorry, for the negative, you know, we, we never had the ball, and we turned it over, and um, future errors and penalties, you know, they look at the positive of that, and, and how well we defended off the back of it, so there is positives to take, but obviously, We've got a bit to work on uh, going into the next week. And then that second half reaction, a much improved change Bradford performance. I think the second half scoreboard were, were 25 points to six. Yeah, just went back to, to what we know how to do. You know, we went back to um, what, we, what we know to do. Um, back to what works for us. Um, kept it really simple. Stop, stop, start. Uh, played percentages a bit more. I think we were a bit smarter in that second half. Looked after the ball. And when you look after the ball, you don't know as much defending it. It has a knock on effect on our way through. So, you know, your middles are fresher and, and as backfield work were excellent in the second half. And um, as middles had some really good goal forward. I thought our walker was superb, mate. Um, you know, I thought he really, he really carried us that first bit of that first half. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think everyone played really well in that second half. I think. You know, we all buy up well in the first half and I think we all had a much more complete performance in the second. Talk us about Ant Walker, Evan Skir. What's that makes your job a hell of a lot easier when you've got that impact coming off that bench as we saw at the start of the second half, both making huge metres, rampaging forward. Yeah, carry it like a train, don't they both of them? And you know, Walks has got a bit of playing him as well. I don't think people realise just the, the subtleties he's got as well. He's, he's a really skillful player. Uh, yeah, they're both strong, but around training, mate, they're both really good lads and they're a good laugh to be around. Walks, especially, he's in my gym group, you know, and I've got on really well with him and, uh, you know, we have, we have a bit of good, a good laugh uh, for a week. So it's really good to see him playing well, mate, and uh, obviously Evan's, Evan's playing really well, playing out of his skin, probably been one of the best players this year, and I think when Walks has played, he's been superb as well. So uh, long may continue. Does a tough game like this against a tough Newcastle side, does that help? Looking forward to what is going to be another tough game against Featherstone on Sunday. Yeah, that's it. I think you know, I do. Uh, I think we've, we've got to be a lot better against, against Fev because uh, you know Fev probably you know they'll, uh, they'll punish us a bit more uh, in that if we if we turn up with, with what we did in the in the first half if we dish that up. Um, but you know, as long as we, we've got a good bit of momentum now, is it seven from seven or eight from eight from like that? Um, we've won now, so if we can keep that going into Fev, you know. We, we obviously feather they're up there, they're flying, they haven't been beat over this season, so it's going to be a real test, it's going to be a good test of where we're at as a group, I think we're, we're in a good vein of form and you know, if we can continue that against Fed, then you know, sky's the limit for us. I was going to say, that, that third game is a great challenge for, for the team though, when you go in on a run like you are seven in a row, you, you're buzzing and you're playing you know, one of the best teams in the competition. Yeah. That's it, it's, it's, a good mark, it's a good marker for where we're at, isn't it? You know, we can, we can go out there 
play with no fear, training wheels are off and just go rip in and, and see what happens. Um, you know, the confidence is high in the group with, with self-belief and the new lads who have come in, you know, Ellis Robson, Ashton, Oli, uh, you know, Mitch, when he worked with a player, they've added so much to the group. So, you know, the, the morale is high, everything's going in the right direction. It's just, you know, it's up to us as the playing staff and the coaching staff to keep it going. See, that, that challenge cut down to a long, long time ago now. I mean, it's totally different. Contest now, and it's a totally different environment. Yeah, it's, it's, it's ages since, isn't it? Like, you know, I my jaws healed in that time, so it's been a while, isn't it? No, it's, it, it does seem ages away. I think we're a completely different team as well. Yeah. Um, I think we've matured a lot. I think certain players have matured a lot, and uh, I just think we've come, we've come together more as a team. I think we look more of, more of a team, and, and there's much more of a team feel around around Tom as well for a week, so you know, we're, we're full of confidence. And, and for yourself, Sam, obviously, you know, it must have been must have saved a very long season so far, and having a way to get back out there. Yeah, it's a pain, mate. For the first, uh, for the first, you know, three or four weeks, just eating soup and sort of training on your own and not being able to do much, and it, it, it would be a bit of a pain. And you know, probably don't realise how much it, you know, affects you sort of off the off the field. You know, you isolate the training and then you go home, and probably don't realise how sort of down you are. But you know, credit to just. You know, my, my friends and family have kept me, have kept me going. And, but you know, the but the boys always keep you involved, and I think that's what's special about this group. Is you go into training, and although you're isolated in training, so you walk in that team room, all lads are around you. And it's a real good environment to be in, and you never ever feel like you are on your own. And it's it's a it's such a good feeling and a, and a good group of lads. Pecking John Z about coming back. Oh man, since I'm, yeah, <laughs> man, I, I wanted to go back on against Fed like when I did it, so <laughs> I think he's been think he's been sick of me like uh, knocking on his door. <laughs> but as you say, yeah, it's great to come back into a team that on oh, a good run, you're confident, isn't it? You know, it's obviously a lot easier than coming into a team that perhaps was struggling. Yeah, that's it. Well, I was, I was joking for a week saying, you know, lads, if I come in and we start losing, then I'd be straight back out of the team. But I mean, I'm glad we could get this good, tough winning, some, you know, the war on it, so. It's, it's good to get that win and obviously you don't want to let the boys down so going into a, a team full of confidence is a bit more pressure than going into a team that's, that's losing on a bad run because you don't want to ruin it and you, you don't want to keep, keep them wins coming and you know look we've got a good one today.